Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to some more Terra Firma Craft, guys. Okay. Wait a sec. I have a hard time hitting this guy. Uh, so this is where we left off last time, and it turns out this is what we want. This this stuff. The Kaolinite. It is not the diamonds. The, the garbage diamonds. It is actually... Oh, they found me. They found me. Where's my... Uh, <laughs> no! I have a way down somewhere. I can't find it now. Oh, skeletons too up there. It's not garbage diamonds. This is the stuff to make fire clay, which is what we do need to make the crucible. I'm lost. Do you see a ladder somewhere? I am totally lost. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. <laughs> is there... Another way down somewhere? Wait a second. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, this makes more sense. Let's go down. Oh, they found me. Yeah, we'll be okay. Let's, let's just let them be. So I dug down. And I located it. It is right over here. Keolite. K-O... <laughs> Keolinite. I should actually look up how to say some of these things. Not that I'll probably ever have to say them again in my lifetime, but uh, could be good to know. Anyway, so I'm going to grab a bunch of this stuff. This is very important stuff. Uh, we need it to make black steel, I believe, the next tier of, uh, of metal. And also just general metalworking is going to be easier thanks to finding this stuff. So I'm going to mine it up, and then we will... Probably, uh, I think I might just head back home because we got everything we need from our adventure here. I think this was the one of the big things. I wasn't really expecting to find it, but since we did, that is awesome. And uh, yeah, anyway, let me mine this up. Okay, guys, so I am fully loaded up here. There is no more space in my inventory. Look at my pick. This thing is almost broken. It was two-thirds like at the last clip. That's how much mining I've done. These are all full. Um, there's absolutely no more spots left in my inventory. So we are going to head back home to drop stuff off and probably to do some stuff around there too. This is about to break. Helmet is still good though. And if we ever need more of this, let's just keep, keep in mind the location. About negative 10,000. Oh no, I see more minerals, guys. We have no more space. What is that yellow stuff, though? Is that gold? Maybe we will hop out just for a moment here to check this out. It might be something we want later. Whoa. Let's see, what's the best way up there? I'm pretty sure that's gold, right? Let's switch this out. We'll just ladder our way up. You'll notice something... Um, the mountains, you see how, let's get into view here, you see how the higher up you go, there's snow, and lower down there's no snow? That's because the higher you get in terra firma craft, the colder it gets, so the first place that's going to get snow is up high. <laughs> no, really, Etho? That's, that's amazing, I never heard of anything like that before. But yeah, um, the reason I'm bringing that up, we might make a preserve room today, and somebody in the comments suggested I build it up high, as high as I can in the sky. And it might be colder there so stuff doesn't decay as quickly. Oh, it is gold. Okay. Location, negative 35. And negative 10,400 roughly. I just want to get one piece. Just one piece to see the quality. It is normal gold. Okay. Fortunately, I am going to throw that piece away now. <laughs> a little bit wasteful, but I was just curious if it was rich stuff. This would have been quite the find, probably. All right, I got to figure out how to get across these mountains now, actually, because my water has been cut off. Uh, I might travel on land for a bit here, actually. Or is oh, we can get to the water here. Okay, that's fine. Excellent. So here we are, everyone. We made it back home safe and sound once again. Looks like our trees have all grown. So we want to harvest those today. And we got all these new goodies now. We should 
should try to do stuff with them. So I wanted to check out redstone <laughs> in particular. Uh, where did I put the redstone? It's not in there. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Was it? I might have put it in this building here, actually. Basically, when I came back here to drop stuff off, I just threw it in chests all over the place. I didn't put put it in their proper place. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so these are some of the goodies we got on our trip. Some more gold up there. And we saw there was a copper in the, the kaolinite in that other chest, and I got more of it on me still. Should unload. So many things. We're going to have to start doing doing stuff with it. Uh, but yes, let's take the cinnabar. And let's just see. I, I really want to see how redstone is in this. Like It might even be totally different mechanics to it. I'm not sure. Oops. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. So we got to put it in our rock grinder, I think. Give it a spin. <laughs> Love that sound. Oh, it looks like normal redstone. You get eight pieces. If you place it down, does it look the same? Oh, it does look the same. Okay. I'm guessing it works the same then, too. I thought it might have looked different and, and worked different. Can we make... Let's see. Do I have any sticks around? I want to see if I can make redstone torches with it or not. Not that you can really do a whole lot with redstone. I'm just I'm just curious. <laughs> Here here's some sticks. Let's get some sticks off the ground. Redstone torch? Oh you can. Oh that's cool. Now I'm wondering about repeaters. <laughs> um how would you do a repeater though? Let's get three rocks. I doubt this is it. I doubt you could do it even. Um because there's no smooth stone in this, right? Get one more stick. It'd be really amazing if there's repeaters. Then you could actually do some some decent redstone, maybe. Do do do. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um. I doubt it would be the cobble. Yeah. Maybe a polished piece of rock. I should look on the website. There might be a recipe for it listed. Uh, let's check on our animals too, it's been a while. Still got the creepy zombies out there. Man, we got so many pigs. I don't think they gave birth yet. <laughs> that one's glitching through the floor. Can't find the pregnant one though. Or the pregnant ones. There's a few of them. Huh. Nope, nope. No, I don't see him. The reason the zombies do this, by the way, is kind of interesting, but I put a row of trim around the outside and they seem to hop up on that, <laughs> but they can't get through the window, even though they try. Got blueberries. Very cool. Speaking of which, I am very hungry. Yeah, so our trees have fully grown here. We should definitely uh, take care of these right away because <laughs> I want I want us to get the ne next batch going. Uh, I'm going through charcoal very quickly now that I'm doing iron stuff, so we need as much charcoal as we can get. Okay, here we go, guys. This is my favorite part of chopping down the trees. <laughs> the actual chopping part. This giant wall blocking our way reduced to mere rubble with one powerful swing. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I think you can do the whole thing with two chops. It's pretty neat. So yeah, we'll be able to get some charcoal going. Uh, we're going to make the crucible in just a moment here too, and we'll do some metal working. And then we'll probably do the preserve room stuff. Uh, we actually got more saplings this time, I think. Just about 70. I think the time before we only got 50-ish or so. So quite a bit of a profit. Did it miss one? <laughs> I think it missed one. Let's, let's get this done too. And... Kabow! Alright. Oops. So yeah, what did we get? We have 
like a 29 sapling profit this time, which is quite a bit. Um, I'm going to have to get this stuff in a pile, though, before it despawns on me. Usually the way I do that, I just like put down one bunch of piles all over the place, and then I click on them and just drop it in like this. And it's pretty quick. No! <laughs> it's snowing, everybody. It's arrived. Winter is here. Get, get used to it. We're in for six months or whatever it is. Early winter, 1st of December. A lot of people have commented how how similar my my homeland over here is is to Canada. <laughs> it's like really cold and mountainous and and yeah. Anyway, so I am. What am I doing? I had a plan. Oh yeah, charcoal. We're doing charcoal. So filled up the room. Um, am I able to throw those sticks far enough? No, I can't. All right, last time we did this, we almost had an accident, and I'm scared. Um, we will throw it like that. we got to light it and then place the rest of this really quickly. Otherwise, it's going to catch fire on us. Okay, there it goes. Oh, you stupid door. <laughs> all right, all right. Place it, place it. There we go. We did it. We did it. Okay, so that is converting to charcoal. Let's climb on the roof just to make sure. Can't see because it's covered in snow. Do you see smoke particles? Yeah, we do. Okay, we got smoke. All right, so that's going. I'm also cooking up a batch of iron. Or I did. It's finished. Let's grab this. Oh, it sounds like rain now. Where is it raining? Oh, it just switched. That was weird. <laughs> Not everywhere, though. It's still snowing here. Um... We're getting quite a bit of iron built up, and we're going to make another batch, though. Let's see. Just about to starve to death. I do see it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. You'll be happy to know, thanks to my killing myself in my own bloomery <laughs> incident, in the next Terraformer Craft update, I think they've addressed that so it's not possible. Um, not that it's really a big issue. Um... But yeah, <laughs> my death did not go in vain, though. I I will have died for something. You guys will never get trapped in your own bloomery, thanks to what happened to Etho number two. All right, good. Um, get that going. Let's get out of here. Very close to starving. Better hurry. And light it. Good. So that is pretty much the last of my iron. We have a little bit left. There's 15 pieces here of the poor stuff and two pieces of the rich stuff, which I might cook up yet. Um, but let's let's eat. Green beans is the diet for today. We've got to do some more cooking sometime, too. Okay, let's head over to the house now. We're going to try make this crucible, the fire clay stuff. Um, and to do that, let's get our redstone out of there. I think you grind this stuff. Very high-tech operation. Do not attempt at home. You will lose a finger or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, and then you put the granite in. You get four pieces from that as well. Okay. And then you combine the two with clay. I think like this. No. Let's try it this way. There it is, okay. Fire clay, we need five pieces of this. So I'm gonna do some grinding. Okay, just about done. That's the last time. <laughs> it takes a long time. I almost need more than one of these wheels. Um, anyway, we got it. What was it again? Graphite in the middle. That on the outside, I believe. There it is, okay. Now we take it, just like you use normal clay, just right click and make a crucible shape. One more down maybe. There it is, the crucible. This is a really important item in this game, or in Terraforma Craft. And you can place this over top of Forge. And you also need this in the Blast Furnace recipe, so we need at least two of them. Uh, which is why I grabbed so much. I didn't realize <laughs> it converts to so much, though. Like, uh, just from a stack of 
granite and a stack of the kaolinites or whatever, uh, we will be able to make at least three of them. So you don't need much after all. Uh, but you take it, you put it over top, like that, and then we can put stuff in it. Let's try make... We're very low on on charcoal is a problem right now. We're waiting for that to finish. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see what we can do here. All right, let's put this in. Maybe it'll finish before we need more. Uh, but I think we light this up like that and then we drop in our gold let's let's melt down the gold oh does it do it one at a time no no <laughs> I was hoping you could drop a whole stack in why is it one at a time hmm maybe this is not a good way of doing it then because if you do a pit kill and you can you can melt a bunch of it at once like four stacks of 16 all at once I think so maybe this is more for like recombining ingots that you make holy smokes well it's warming up right now so it's gonna take a while oh okay when it gets warm enough look at this it's like instant you just drop it in one after another maybe no oh there it goes <laughs> Does it drop temperature every time it converts one? It does, okay. So if you can keep this going hot, you can do it a lot quicker. It looks like. Um, we need the bellows then, because the bellows allows you to, to make the fire hotter. You put it on, like on the side here. We're going to grab some of these molds though. And I think you just drop these in here. Fills it up. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, yes, I like it. Tells you the percentage, like if you're making an Ella, it'll tell you how much of, of what is in it. Make sure you get it right. Drop in another one. I think we did two ingots worth there. Pretty cool. Cool it quicker in water if you want. And we have liquid go or we have uh, solid gold now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why guys, but my copper chest plate, instead of breaking, it seems to have reset the durability on it, so I may just stop wearing this thing, because it feels kind of cheaty. Oh, I think it just disappeared. <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't actually there, it was just has, hadn't destroyed it yet. Ooh, I like that. That looks cool. Alright, anyway. Let's wait till we get more charcoal, then I'm going to melt down ores. Uh, probably not this episode, though. We got things to do. Oh, boy. Okay, we might be in a situation here. I got hit by a javelin skeleton, and he knocked me down two bars. I thought it was a critical hit, and I just got hit again, and he's knocked me down to here. Uh, and he's right beside me, <laughs> so I am a little worried. I'm going to run... Run, 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 run. Oh, man. Go, 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 go. One more hit might kill me is the problem. That is what I'm fearing right now. Why am I... I guess my chest piece broke and I'm taking tons of damage now. Before, I could, like, just get pummeled with, with arrows and I was fine. Whew. Or did he hit me in the head again? I got one arrow in the head, which just disappeared. I don't see the the javelin in me anywhere, though. Huh. Alright guys, no worries. I'm okay. I survived. Everything's good. We're back up to full health. Uh, next up, we are going to be trying this preserve room idea. And, and it's more of an experiment to start off with here. If it works out okay though, we will build an actual building to, to store our food in. Uh, but here's what, what I'm doing. Let's grab these two. I thought it would be a good idea to get up... Um, a big portion of the way by climbing up a tree. <laughs> so I just put some ladders on a sequoia tree here, which is like the tallest tree. Um, oh yeah, and look at this. So it does seem like it's going to work. If you look at the temperature over here, right now it's negative 2.22. 2. 
As we climb up, look how quick it drops. Um, and as we get to the top of the tree here, it should drop about two to three degrees total, which is within 30 blocks. So as we get up higher here, um, it's it's probably going to get pretty cold actually. And I decided it's the best material to do like a pillar is probably this stuff, the planks, because uh, I can get this wood fairly easy. Uh, it's a bright color, so hopefully it doesn't look terrible <laughs> having a pillar up to the sky. Um, I'm going to die, aren't I? I just realized. I'm going to have to ladder drop down now. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see, what's the temperature? Oh, it's getting really cold. Look at that. We're Oh, it gets colder uh, the closer up or closer to the top of the world you are, I think. Because it's only dropping like uh, two tenths of a degree before. Or, I mean, uh, two hundredths. And now it's really dropping like quite a bit. Anyway. It might just be getting colder out at the moment, too. It's hard to tell because you see the ice below is all freezing now. So it probably dropped a few degrees. If this does not work here, though, we could also potentially go further north and set up a building. Because the further north you go, the farther away from the equator you are, and it gets colder and colder. And I think in places there's snow on the ground all the time. And their food probably does not decay at all. So we might do that too. What are we at now? Negative 18 degrees, 19. I think it's at zero that food stops decaying, though. Um, during the summer is the question. How cold does it actually get during the summer? We don't know. Um, since I'm doing this whole quest to collect things... Um, oh, we're at top of the world here. So it's at negative 21 degrees up here. Maybe we'll go down a few blocks so we can actually have a building or platform or something. Go to 250. Got a ladder drop. <laughs> oh man. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Ladder drop time. All right, this is fine. It, it wasn't that dangerous. Um, yeah, since one of my goals is to collect everything in Terra Firma Craft, we need a preserve room where our food doesn't get destroyed by decay so that we can actually collect it. Otherwise, if I get. 500 pork chops, it doesn't matter because <laughs> it's all going to die right away. Alright. Perfect. So I'm going to start setting up a platform and a room up here. And here it is. So it's nothing fancy or anything like that. We're just trying this out for now. If we like it, if this works out okay, we will uh, build something a little bigger, something that looks good and and maybe even put a kitchen in or something so we can cook where our ingredients are all stored. Would be cool. Uh, let me show you this though. Get rid of the torches. And looking at F3, the BL, SL, and RL, block light, sunlight, and real light, are all at zero. So it's perfectly dark because I believe the light level affects decay rates. I added in like this pillar of wood uh, near the top to prevent sunlight from bleeding up that high. Uh, without this, here let me show you. Hopefully I don't lose a block here. <laughs> Let's get rid of this one here. Please don't drop down. Yes, I got it. Uh, without this little tube, sunlight becomes like six or seven, so it definitely helps a lot. Um, and we're just going to put some food up here and see how it does. Right now in the winter, it's it's not going to decay very much. I checked on sirloin in the in the copper mine, and unfortunately, <laughs> he hasn't fared too well. I haven't checked on him in a little while, and I probably should have because most of these vessels don't have beef in anymore. <laughs> it's not because I took them out. They fully decayed like two pieces in this one three in this one and this one's like at 48 percent i don't think that one had any in or i took it out um so yeah some of them have completely decayed you can see this one's at 80 percent which is really bad 
um, we might leave some of this in its decayed state as an experiment. Let's leave the 80% one, the 48% one, and let's do a 21% one. Remember these numbers, guys, because we'll check this later and see how it fares. Um, I guess we'll put this one in too. We're going to leave these. I'm not going to cut the decay off. I want to see uh, if it decays more being up here because the temperature is negative 17. And it says the average bio temperature is 8.57, which also changes, I realized, depending on your height. So that's actually probably... Um, that means it probably is always frozen here, I'm hoping. Anyway, I'm going to cut the decay off the rest of this so that hopefully <laughs> Cerulean lasts a little longer. I cannot uh, like drop down and uh, go through these leaves when there's snow on it. It actually counts as a block. <laughs> uh, I think if this melts, you will fall through, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, got to be careful about that. And what else? What else? Oh, yeah. I want to show you what it looks like. So, we have to decide if we want to keep this here. If not, we'll, we'll go further north and build our kitchen and our storeroom there. It doesn't look that great as it is right now. I want to show you. It's like uh, <laughs> this nasty thing up in the sky. Um, yeah, it kind of wrecks the view a little bit. So we have to decide, is there something I could do to make it look better? I don't really like how the tree farm looks either, to be honest, that the walkway there kind of wrecks the look a bit. I don't know. <laughs> if you have ideas on what I should do with it, let me know. Uh, but that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again in the next one.